My name's Helen. I'm one of the physiotherapists working at the Bar Centre for Pain Services, and I'll let uh, Gemma introduce herself. Okay, hi, my name's Gemma. I'm 41 and I completed the pain rehabilitation programme back in May of this year. How did you end up coming to the Bar Centre for Pain Services? Five years ago, I had a car accident and following the crash, I um, suffered with my back um, and I have chronic back, lower back pain and, and then with depression mixed in with that as well. I was a really fit an active person before the car accident. I had a really good job, a very good job actually. Um, but unfortunately all that kind of like fell apart following the accident. I lost, I lost my job. I lost my social life, uh, my fitness, cause I was into my boxing. Um, all due to my back and obviously the depression that comes along with it as well. Um, so yeah, that, that's how I came about doing the rehabilitation programme. How did you feel about the assessment that you had um, coming to the assessment and um, how did you feel about the prospect of coming on one of our programmes? Prior to the assessment, I, I wasn't in a great place anyway. Um, I've got all my anxieties. Um, I've really low in mood. Um, my back was really, really playing up. And I just thought to myself, I can't see what a four week programme is really going to change anything. I think I wanted somebody to fix me. And I didn't feel that doing a rehabilitation programme was going to be the fix that I needed. But when I did the assessment with Jeremy, he was amazing, he was lovely. I still had my doubts, but I did agree to doing the programme. This was kind of like the last shot for me because I tried all different kinds of treatments for my back, for, for everything. This was kind of like the last resort. This was either going to work for me or it wasn't going to work. We tried everything, you know, we exhausted all different sources out there to try and make things better for me and my family. You have all these thoughts running through your head. I don't know if I can do this. What is physical side gonna be like? Am I gonna be able to sit with group people and talk about your feelings and talk about very, very private things that you tend not to tell anybody? Um, and then it's discussing your pain as well. I mean, for me, the last five years has been quite a roller case because because you can't see, I haven't got a broken arm or a broken leg. Your pain is internally and people can't see that. So you sometimes you feel like you're not believed because you can't visibly see what is actually wrong. Um, so yeah, you've got all that. You've got a lot of self-doubt before you start the programme. I know I did, um, yeah. It sounds like it was a really big step for you to even come on the program. Yeah. Um, so what was being on the program like for you? The first day when I started and you're meeting all the people that you, a lot of the time you think you're on your own. You think in this world that there's nobody out there that can understand how you as a person feel and how you live with chronic pain and depression. And then all of a sudden you're faced with other people. And when you start listening to other people, you realize you're not on your own. You know, you, you're not, other people are battling maybe different situations with how they deal with their chronic pain. But the one thing you have in common is you've all got chronic pain and there's an element of everybody, there's depression involved in it. People being, you know, isolated at home, you're not going out, you don't want to go anywhere. And it's all because of chronic pain. And it was an eye opener. My fear was more the physical side of it because I was so frightened of doing anything that would exacerbate my back. But with the physiotherapy, you start to build up dead slowly. You start to think, you know, 
that oh maybe I can do this I think I think it was after about I think it was the second week where I did my first squat and I only did one rep but it was the best feeling in the world because I'd managed to do that one rep and yes I was in pain yes my pain went completely through the roof and I felt like I'd been knocked off my feet but doing the physical side and then the the sessions where you know you look at how you how you work how you can start to understand your mind you can see the benefit from it what do you feel that you got out of the program my, getting my life back um getting my fitness back I never thought I'd be able to exercise ever again I now do exercise more or less try and do every day if I can't then because my, my back's playing up um I'll try and do some stretches um I'm looking at the future with my husband and my kids where I'd always sit on the sideline before and watch I'm now trying to participate in what they're doing um I don't want to be that person for the last five years that is sat at the sides and not wanted to go anywhere because of my pain and my depression um, I want to be in there with people with my friends with my family and to me the program you know you have to you have to invest yourself into it because if you don't and you go half-heartedly with it it won't work you have to sometimes look inside yourself and know that the changes need to be made within you and not other people um I started volunteering as a, a Samaritan which has been a long-term thing I've always wanted to do but never I've, I've let my pain dictate I mean, depression dictates everything. Uh, but now I'm taking control back and now I'm saying, no, enough. I've, I've, I've lost five years of my life already. I'm not going to lose another five or 10 or 15. Um, and it's all because of this pain management programme. I wouldn't be sitting here now if it wasn't for that pain management programme or where I'm at doing my training as a Samaritan, doing my fitness making future plans with my husband and my children, participating in things. I wouldn't have done any of that if I hadn't have done the programme. And what would you say to someone who was um, thinking about this as an option for them? I would say it's okay to feel nervous. It's okay to have your anxieties and your worries. It's normal. But I'd encourage anybody to do it and to go 100% with it because trust Jeremy and his team they know what they're doing they help me and I'm never thought that this program would do anything for me yeah you know I know I've got a long way to go I'm nowhere near you know I'm not fixed if they haven't got rid of me back pain or my depression or anything like that but they gave me the strategy and the coping skills to to live and yeah, it, it's been my life saver, if I'm honest. And it was the best thing that I've ever done. So yeah, go for it. Don't sit there and not do it.